What is going on you guys? It is the Milkman. Welcome back to the channel for another video here. I am going to be showing you guys how to wash out a frozen cattle pod. So I explained in my last video there at the end, uh, I'm not gonna have somebody else do it because if I do that, which I have done many times, uh, it costs about a couple hundred bucks, usually like 250 bucks with chips. So if I do it myself, I can usually do it for like a hundred bucks with chips or plus chips. So, which is like 30 bucks for chips, I think. So I'm gonna be doing that for you guys. And then I'm gonna be going over to Wyndham here. I'm gonna get a load of pigs and then I'm gonna go to Curtis, Wisconsin and unload there. So that's gonna be the run and then it's it's gonna be the weekend so we'll see what we got going but maybe friday we are going to omaha i'm not 100 percent sure yet if there's gonna be a cattle run to omaha or not maybe we'll just take the weekend off we'll see how it goes stay tuned you guys i'll have the wash out here coming up soon all right you guys so we are going to throw on some uh clothes here so we can stay dry all right let's get started See, the last guy didn't wind up the hose, so I ended up running over it. How's it going? Good, good. Turn our lights on quick. So we're just gonna get it soaked down so it starts loosening up. Right here is where I pull the plugs out so all the crap and stuff will drain out.
got that salt down, I'm gonna move up to the top. I held cattle last, so I don't even have my racking down. I'm gonna have to put that down here because I'm gonna get this load of pigs. We're gonna get this nose here sprayed down. like to do I like to get everything soaked down so the water starts warming it up and then it pops off a lot easier kind of just get it soaked down let it sit for a few minutes kind of keep spraying on it and then once it loosens up it all just pretty much will come right off and uh, fly out and when you're hauling pigs the whole trailer has got to be clean so the walls and stuff where you see all the crap that's got to be cleaned off the trailer's got to look pretty much spotless when you're done with it in previous videos what you want to do is have it cleaned out before it freezes like this but sometimes i sit and i wait I'm not sure if i'm gonna get not sure if i'm gonna get a load of cattle or not because you don't have to clean it before you pick up cattle and then uh this time of year it ends up freezing on you so it is what it is but that's why i'm cleaning it myself now instead because i just kind of tired of spending 200 bucks to have somebody else clean it out coming off way easier. So as you can tell, it's pretty simple, you guys. Usually these things have a couple different settings. Once you get it all cleaned out, I usually run it with the like shower looking one like this. And then just go over and wash. And then just go over and rinse the trailer out. Make sure all of it's really clean. And then uh, I always rinse my truck off too. So I'm gonna keep going on this. Oh, another thing with the bottom, you guys, is all this stuff from the top is gonna be on that bottom level now. So it's gonna be, number one, there's gonna be more crap down there. But number two, when it's frozen, it definitely will be a lot more thought out by the time we get down there. So that'll be nice. And then one thing you definitely wanna do is make sure you get these rails cleaned out for when you gotta put your decking down. Otherwise, you get, like, if I were to leave or whatever and it gets frozen, it's a struggle to get your decking in. Usually you gotta bang the stuff out. So make sure you always get everything cleaned up.
So we are to the bottom of the trailer now. As you can see, I just started, I got this stuff back and now I'm gonna spray it all out down there so it goes down the hole. At this point, I don't know what my GoPro looks like as far as what you can see, but we're gonna go ahead and rinse down the outside of my trailer, rinse my truck off, and then uh, we'll be good to go. We'll pull out and then we'll wash my bay down and clean it up. Now we'll pull out and we'll wash the bay down and then we're gonna go get loaded up. for checking that video out. Roll the windows up here, it's kind of noisy. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That is one of uh, probably the world's dirtiest jobs trying to get them trailers cleaned out full of cow poop and pig crap. It's a task, especially when it's frozen. Don't blame the people that wash them out, man. They can charge whatever they want to get that stuff cleaned out if you're uh, tired and don't really feel like doing it. So uh, nothing against them doing that. If you like the video, 
hope hit that like button and I really hope you hit the subscribe button. We've been growing quite a bit here. We've got 130 when I checked this morning subscribers and I appreciate that a lot. I hope you guys go and share the video, uh, share with your friends and uh, let's get some more subscribers and more viewers here and it helps more people out that are maybe looking to get in the cattle hauling or livestock hauling industry uh, or just like watching the videos. So as you can see here now I'm out here in Kodak. Actually I'm in Knoxville just off past Knoxville here on 75 headed to Burkittsville, Ohio going to get a load of cattle. So that's going to be another video here. Again, appreciate you guys checking it out. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. And uh, thanks.